right so guys today i am going to teach you a tool called the oracle sql developer developer everyone on mute right uh, everyone close the laptops please uh, today i'm going to teach you a tool called the oracle sql developer all right and what does the sql developer do for you and how does it assist you in the oracle world okay so very importantly very importantly all these videos will be placed on our website so i want all of you guys to memorize our website because our website is our window to the world all right so you guys must daily go to our website edgemcs.co.za and you know all the information and the videos will be placed after that onto the website okay now what is oracle sql developer so previously there were tools out in the market which people had to buy to access the database all right so there are tools in the market which people had to buy to access the database so you have a uh, you have a database and you need data from the database so oracle's explanation is oracle's sql developer is a free integrated development environment that simplifies the development and management of database in both traditional and cloud deployments sql developer offers a complete end to end development for your pl and sql applications a worksheet for running queries and scripts and a dba console for managing the database and the reports interface and a complete data modeling solution and a migration platform for moving your third party databases to oracle okay so if i can simplify this here as well and it's very important for you guys to understand that you have a database and this database has data in it which are in tables the question is now you need to give users this information you need to give users this information all right so how do you read the information in these tables so previously you had to buy a product from a third party vendor to read information in this database so now oracle provides a tool for sql developer so you as an individual can read data in the tables in the database and you can send the data to users you guys understand what i'm saying so you can send the data to the user so if you can mind map that that sql developer is a tool it sits on your desktop that you can view now they got the same here also manage your database now we know what product manages the database what product manages the database what product people log in every day that manages the database oracle enterprise manager so oracle enterprise manager's job is to manage the database yes but what oracle have done is they also granted sql developer the functionality also which oem has to manage the database and let me tell you why if you get sent to a customer and the customer asks you can you develop us code that assist us in checking what time people come to work and what time, what time people go to work leave work right the customer will ask you can you develop your own system so what you're going to do is you will install a database on your laptop Right? and then you're going to install sql developer all right and then you're going to develop all the code on this database am i right 
Now remember this database also has space requirement. So how do you manage the space if you don't have OEM? So that's where SQL developer comes into play, where you can manage your own database. That means your physically owned database. You, you guys all understand what I'm saying. You want, you get it. Because it's very important, if you don't get it here, you're not gonna get it going forward. You get it. You get it, man. You, you all get it. You get it. So if you install a database on this PC, on this laptop, all right, you need to give it space to store data. Because the customer is giving an Excel file. Excel file name, surname, ID number, and it, whatever, where it stays in it. To load that data into, into the database. So you load that data in the database using SQL developer, all right? And you manage this database using SQL developer. Does everyone understand that? That terminology? Because if you don't understand the terminology now, it just gets more difficult as we go, all right? Then the benefit of this tool is it's a free tool from Oracle. It's used by Oracle development. So the same scripts you get from development, development uses the free, the same tool. So the benefits are great. It's used for database management. That means if I send you wow to a customer XYZ in Job account, and if you he ask you my database is running very slow. I don't have OEM. How will you check the queries? Any answer? SQL Developer. It's a graphical interface to get data from database, right? It's used for queries. So you need to extract all the salary information from the salary table, and you need to give it to HR in Excel format. You use it that way. It's used for extraction of data and insertion of data. It means you want to insert data into the database. You use SQL Developer. And it's used for extraction into Excel. So a lot of audit companies want all the data to come in in as Excel files. So you use it as Excel files. Fine. So before we continue, before we continue, I'd just like to know is, does everyone understand the basics of SQL Developer? What is it and what is it used for before we go to the demonstration? Any questions before we proceed? All right. SQL Developer, good question. It can only be used to manage your database, your database on your laptop. It can be used to monitor a database. There's two different things. Does everyone understand the difference between manage and monitor? What is the difference? Who can, who can tell me? It's over what is the difference between manage and monitor? You can use any example. So too, you want to give it a try, Pindile? Okay. Uh, monitoring. Every day, um, log into OEM, right? And check uh, your test space usage, like the test space available. You can monitor your backup to see if you're right. That's monitoring, right? Uh, when you say, uh, in terms of uh, managing your database, um, I cannot do that. Uh, so this is the difference. Manage means physically adding space, making sure the database is up and running, making sure the database is accessible. That is management. Monitoring means 
active monitoring, it means if the database runs out of space, what happens? You get a, you get a notification. So monitoring is just a person that looks and sees, ah, oh, there's a problem, send the notification, right? So before we move to the live demo, I'd just like to know, is there any other questions that people have? Because the demo is very important, you know? Is there any other questions that people have in the room? No questions. Right, I see there's someone on the online. Valencia. Valencia, how are you? I'm well, thanks for you. Okay, where are you from? I'm from Zakeni. Zakeni. Okay, before we, we move on, do you understand what, what is the tool and what is the use of the tool before we go to the training of the tool? Yes, uh, I've got a, um, a bit of an understanding around that. I actually just joined not so long ago. <laughs> Sorry, you joined long, um, long ago? No, no, not so long ago, like a, just a couple of minutes now. Okay, so if you can, just for Zakeni's thing, we're demoing a tool called SQL Developer. Mm -hmm. SQL Developer allows you, right, mm -hmm. to manage and monitor, manage your database on your PC. So if you are sent to a project, yes. they ask you to develop an application or queries. You can mm -hmm. then monitor and manage that. You can install mm -hmm. a database on your laptop and install yes. SQL Developer to run the queries on that database on your laptop. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, yes. All right. So, very important. Any questions in the room before we continue? No. Okay. So, you will then install the tool from the website, right? So if I can go through the tool, there is the website there, all right? I will share the website with you guys, right? And there's a download button there. You click on download. Then there's different versions of the tool. I always stick to the latest version, which is 9.3. Let me tell you why. Because this is the same tool that Oracle uses to develop all the applications. So when Oracle releases a fix, it must be for all, right? Then there's different types you can download. You can download for Windows 32-bit, Windows 64-bit. You can download for Apple, for Linux, you know? I normally download for Windows 64-bit with JDK, with Java Development Kit, right? Once it's downloaded on your PC, right? You will then get a... A, a file you unzip the file right and then you can send this sql developer shortcut to your pc you understand what i'm saying so if i can show you there let me just see where this shortcut is So it's C Edgeball software. So we go to C Edgeball software. You see when you download it, it downloads in a zip file. Does everyone see that? Mm -hmm. All right? Then you extract the zip file. So there's no installation. Then those are all the files. And there is the icon there, SQL developer. Then you right click and you say send to desktop. Okay, send to desktop. Does everyone understand it? All right. Then here is the tool that you open the tool. There is the tool, the SQL developer tool. Right. Very importantly, for you to see that it's always the latest version. So how do you see the latest version? You go to help about the latest version 19.2.1. That is the latest version, All right? So that's very important for you to see. Now, you need to connect to your database. So you need information. 
So there's a button called Add there. All right? And that button, if I right click there in Properties, is the screen there. All right? So the name of the database, you can call it anything you want, but be practical. So I call this EBS, which is your EBS suite, Development Database. Okay. Then it asks you for your username, which you can connect. So you get your username and password. You can ask it from your DBA. Okay. Then the host name, that means where, which server is the database running on. If it's your PC, then you use your PC's name. Does everyone understand? Then the port number for the database. Okay. You can ask your DBA for that port number. And the SID means the name of the database, the identifier, system identifier or the SID is the name of the database. Then you can also do a test, click on test. And what does it say at the bottom? Does everyone see they're successful? Can everyone uh, excuse see? me, just, just one question, please. Yes. That port number 1549, does it stay that way? It no. never changes. No, no. Each each database will have a different port number. Uh, okay, like each, SQL Server would have its own specific port number. Yes, yes. Each database will have its own port number. Okay. You you get me what I'm saying? Mm hmm Yes. So your DBA will install, remember, you can't have all the databases with the same port number. So your yes, DBA yes. will install a different port number. So if oh. you go to a client, very importantly, I'll have another mm -hmm. session maybe next week about databases. All right? Okay. All right. If you go to a client, all right, and if you yes. want to connect to the database, mm -hmm. ask the client, what is the username and password that I can connect to? What is the host name? What is the port and what is the set? Okay. Okay. You get me what I'm saying? So yes, here's I all the you. information that you need to connect to the database. Okay. Right? All right. And you yeah. click on test and you see whether the status is success. Mm -hmm. Do you, everyone see this here? Right? If the status is not successful, then don't proceed. Go back to the DBA and say, here is my laptop. I'm trying to connect. I can't connect. What is the problem? Now you connect. The problem could be the information that you're putting in, but it will error out. Yes. So, can you get the port number? Go to go to OEM. Go to the state. So, so let's go through an example. I go and I change the port number here. You see the port number is what is the port number? 149. I make it 148. Right? And I click on test. What does it say there? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Could not connect to network adapter. Yeah. So now if I change the port number back to 149 and I click on test, it's a success. So you get me what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or if I go and I put a one in next to the set and I click on test, it tells you that the listener is not the correct one. You all understand? Yeah. Does everyone see? Yes. Uh, the lady online, do you understand? I understand, yes. Thank you. All right. So you click on test and it's success. Before we move on, though, I understand. This is your key to open the door. People, if you don't stop me, I won't know. All right? You then click on connect and there you have a successful connection to your database. So now to 
to see what is the name of the database you are connected to. You say select name from B dollar database. And you run it and there we go. There's the name of the database. So now you can run your queries. You can do whatever you want to PLSQL. You can see the tables and all those type of things. Right, now let me just show you something. Now you want to extract data. So you say, select star from V dollar database. So we're getting all the information from V dollar database. Now there's all the information about the database. Now your manager tells you, Gala, send me all the information of the database. So you connect to the database. You say, select star from V dollar database gives you this output. But how do you send this output to your manager? Does anyone know? You export to Excel. So you right click and you say export. Then it asks you the format. So these are all the different formats that you can export to. CSV, the limited, Excel, HTML, PDF, text, XML. Does everyone understand? Mm. But then you choose Excel. All right. It asks you where do you want to put the file. So you say browse. Uh, okay, cool. C drive. <coughs> evolve. Okay, cool. Let's go to yeah. software and let's call the file training. And we say save and we say next and it asks you do you want to put all the stuff in right and you say mm -hmm. okay then you go to your drive sql developer software and there's the output you get me what i'm saying and then you click on the output and voila there's all your information You, you, you all understand what I'm saying? Yes. Right. So extraction of software, very important. Now, guys, we're running out of time. So I can't show you everything. It is your job now to go and install the tool and play around with the tool. But what you can see is if you look, if you follow my, my mouse, if you look in the left hand side, you can view everything in a database. You can view all the tables, all the views, all the indexes, all the packages, all the procedures. So if you are a smart, clever person, and a guy comes and says, uh, Yvonne, why he created a package for me? I really like the package, right? About extracting people's salaries. Can you please add, can you please edit that package that I only want to see people who are over the age of 25 working in a company with a certain amount of salary. So you don't now, you're going to say, oh shit, I need to go and create this package. But if you are a smart DBA or smart developer, you go into SQL developer, you log in, you go into the packages, all right? You then copy the package that Hawaii wrote, you then edit it with the information and redeploy it under your package. So you see the benefit of the tool. You see, there's all the packages. So if you can say, okay, I'm just giving it a credit pay package. You click on it. There is the SQL code in front of your face. So now you don't have to go and redevelop the code. You just copy the code. You edit the code, you create a new package, and you deploy it. Done. In five minutes, you are done. So you see the benefit of it. Now imagine previously, before SQL Developer, you didn't, you didn't have the view of all this code. So you guys see the benefit of it. The lady online, do you see the benefit of it? Yes, I do. All right. Now, there is 
lots of functionality. You can see the indexes, packages, procedures. Uh, you can see the database links. Uh, you can see everything. You can see users as well. You know, these are all the users on the database. You can see what the users own on the database. So if you're viewing, you can see this user owns these tables, these packages, these procedures, you know, all those type of things. All right. Now, there is too much to explain and there's too little time. That's all the problem. I can spend a whole month just explaining to you all the different functionalities of SQL development. But now it's your job to invest in yourself because there is no course for SQL developer and no one had taught me. I learned it myself through research and development. Right? So there's lots of functionality. Now you got a database on your desktop, right? on your laptop. And now you need to add space because I come to you in Sobo and Hope and I say, no, in this database, all the tables must be named ABC. All the data files must be named EFG. So now you need to create the structure for me. You understand? Because in the architectural document, so Gala will drop an architectural document that Edge Evolve needs to create a database for all employees. The database structure must look like this. This is the database name. This is how many data files, this is how many tables, this is the size of the data file. Now she sends that information to Yvonne and team. Now they look at it. Now how do you build that database structure? You use SQL Developer. So you go to your DBA console here at the bottom. If it's not there, you click on uh, View and you choose DBA, all right? Then you connect to the database and then you can look at the database configuration, the parameters, you can look at all the parameters. Now to give an example, to view these parameters, you need to log on to the server. You need to log on to the file where the parameters are and you need to view the file. Now with a click of a button, you can view all this information. Do you guys see the benefit? All right? And you can view multiple databases. That means, let's just say, I send you Pindile to a customer in town, the Joburg Hospital, and the database is not working. You get there and you ask them, do you have OEM? Yes, I got OEM, but I can't give you access because you'll damage my system. I said, no problem. Give me a username and password. I'll connect with SQL developer. Then you can connect to the database and see what is the you know, what is the initialization parameters? You can see the database status. You know, it's loading there. You see that? So as a DBA now is, you can see what is the top SQL running, what is running in the database. You know, now you can see this database is doing nothing currently, you know. So it gives you a whole lot of information that you can see. You can, you can do a data pump. That means if you want to move data into a database, you can schedule something called a data pump. You can do performance testing. You can do backup and recovery. Now, Pindile has went to Joburg Hospital. He fixed up the database. But before he leaves, he doesn't want to make sure there's a backup, so he can schedule a backup. You can do security. It means you can go and add users. So right click and create new user. You can go and create a new user. You can go or you can go and change a user's password. You right click and you can expire, lock, grant, or you can edit and go and change a user's password. All right, you can go and see the table spaces, the data files. So these are all the table spaces in the database. So you, you see the power of this tool. Previously, you had to go in, select name from B dollar databases. You had to see the table spaces. You had to do the, 
Now everything is graphical. So to give you an example, you want, I ask you, I'm your manager, you want, log on to database IT1 and send me all a list of table spaces in this space. How are you going to do it? You're going to do it what I say in this, in this year. You're going to send me a screenshot so I can see all the table space names, all the sizes, how big they are, how free they are, and all those type of things. You, you see the benefit of it. So OEM is good, but OEM sits on a server. What's the difference between Oracle Enterprise Manager and SQL Developer? Yes, but there is also a lot of differences. All right? Number one difference is Oracle Enterprise Manager can only run off a server. Right? So let's go through the differences. between Oracle Enterprise Manager and SQL Developer. We're running out of time. We should be finished, don't worry, at five. The one runs on a server, the other runs on your desktop. Right, this is the first difference. Now, the other difference, Oracle Enterprise Manager does managing and monitoring. SQL Developer only does monitoring. Okay, does everyone understand it? No, no, SQL Developer does managing, sorry. Management. All right. Oracle Enterprise Manager does Monitoring, managing. Right. Oracle OEM, the SQL developer does not have that function. Okay. The last functionality is for development, you use SQL developer. And you can't okay, does everyone get that? Does everyone understand it? All right. So that is the differences. So to go through the differences is so to go through the difference is again is that. The difference between Oracle Enterprise Manager and uh, SQL Developer is Oracle Enterprise Manager runs on a server where SQL Developer runs on your desktop. Oracle Enterprise Manager manages and monitors database where SQL Developer only manages databases. Oracle Enterprise Manager can manage multiple databases where SQL Developer can't manage multiple databases. It's driven by the individual, where Oracle Enterprise Manager is driven by intelligence. Does everyone understand that? Oracle Enterprise Manager can't develop code where SQL Developer your human being can develop code using SQL developer. So people, we come to the end of our presentation. So what I want you guys to do is to go to this homepage, the SQL developer homepage, download SQL developer in your free time, set it up and play around with it. So install a database on your, on your laptops. I think Pindile, you show them how to do that, all right? Install a database on your, on your laptop, download SQL Developer, connect to your database using SQL Developer, and play around with the features. 
If you don't play, you won't know. All right. Then on the same web page, there is a button called Learn More. There is, and under it, Oracle Development gives training. I don't have much time now. We only got eight minutes left, you know. And these are all the different videos. Overview, introduction, uh, right? How to find a database object, how to run, you know, chart reports. That means you can take reports and put it in chart format. DBA performance, how to generate HTML using SQL command line. You understand what I'm saying? So Oracle keeps on updating this year. So what I suggest you guys do is download SQL Developer, connect it to your database on your desktop, and then view all these videos and test and play around with the product, read the documentation. And what's nice is you put SQL Developer into your CV. It means you know how to use SQL Developer. Right. We have five minutes left. Any questions from anyone before we close? the session at nine o'clock. Any questions from the people online? I'm sorry, will there be, I kind of, uh, my laptop just died, I just came back on now. Is there gonna be a, a video, maybe of a session online somewhere that I can download? Yes, what I will do is, I, I have recorded the session, so I will, Okay. Upload the session to my YouTube page. Do you know my YouTube page? No, I don't know it. And I will send the link. And I think link, uh, Len, you will share the link. There, right. I, are you on Len's WhatsApp group? No, but he's got my email though. Okay, yeah. So he will he will send you the email with the with the course, right? View the course, right. but very important people is. I never go for the training, but I want to give you the training, right? Install a database on your laptop. If you don't know how, we have Pindile here. Go to Pindile, right? And if for people online, if you don't know how, Pindile will teach your current colleagues, which is Yvonne, Len, Hope, Gala, Ntovo, and Mbo, right? Okay. You, they can then teach you how to install a database on your on your laptop. And maybe let's do this tomorrow, all right? Who knows how to install a database on your de on your desktop, on your laptop? I do. Oh, you know? Yes, I do. Oh, so you know. So if for people that don't know, contact these people and they will teach you how to install it, right? Download Oracle SQL Developer, right? Connect it to your database, all right? And start, read the documentation and start playing around. The only way you're gonna learn is you're gonna play. Do not play on your production database. Do not play on the development database at work. Because if you mess anything up, people are gonna say, you broke it. There is videos on this web page, all right? Go and view every video because these people that do the videos are people that wrote the tool. Go on YouTube, view, view the videos on SQL Developer. Download the documentation. Read the documentation and then put it on your CV that you know Oracle SQL Developer. You see there, there's, if you go down, uh, there's Oracle SQL Developer documentation, command line. You understand? Then the resources. Migrating an Amazon database to an Oracle database using Oracle SQL Developer. Migrating an Oracle database from Amazon Web Services to Oracle. You know, administer, diagnose, and schedule with SQL Developer. Develop, test, and tune reports with SQL Developer. So there's enough resources on here to keep you busy. So I don't want anyone to say anyone in the entire group of interns or anyone in the Oracle community to say, guys, I have no time because there is time you have to make the effort. And guys, you need to invest in yourself. 
Okay. So people, we have two minutes left. Any questions? Any questions from the people online? Um, sorry, yeah, just one more question. I don't know how long this is going to take to um, Yeah, no, no, go for it. Explain. Go for it. Go for it. And those people okay. who want to leave can leave. But I'll, I, will, I will answer all the questions online. Yeah, carry on. Okay, so I have SQL Server on my laptop. So what I'm trying to find out is how, do, how exactly do I connect this SQL developer to my SQL Server that's already okay. like installed? SQL Server, you will need the Microsoft tools to connect to it, right? Oracle mm -hmm. SQL developer is mainly used for Oracle. Okay. But I don't know. I haven't tested SQL developer connecting to uh, a Microsoft Server. Oracle SQL is mainly made for an Oracle database. Okay, yes, because the reason why I'm asking, because I know I had a same issue when I was doing my Oracle Data Integrator. I was trying to install it and uh, create a repository to run on my SQL Server. But I never really had luck with that. So I thought maybe it would be some kind of different. No, so what you do is install an Oracle database, rather. Okay, all right. And, and do the repository on an Oracle database. Do not install a Microsoft product. Because oh, remember, okay. you are using two different products. Mm -hmm. It's yes, like, if yeah. I give you an example, Apple and Samsung. You can't install an mm -hmm. Apple product on a Samsung phone. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. So my suggestion is install an Oracle database and use SQL developer on top of it. Okay. No, great. Awesome. Thank you very much. Any other questions? It will work with ODBC, but what the person is asking is they want to create a repository. So my suggestion is rather you, if you're using SQL, Oracle SQL developer, then you rather use the Oracle database. Okay. Any other questions? We have time, I can answer questions. Is there any question? Okay, if there's no questions, uh, uh, if there's no questions, guys, Visit my website, edgemts.co.za. Uh, my YouTube page has all the videos that I will upload. If you got any other requests or questions or you want any other additional training that I can squeeze in, let me know. My email address is amad.jasat at edgeevolve.com and I will see where I can squeeze in training. But just the one thing I want to see, I see there is lots of people online now is they came in a bit late. I will uh, publish this video on YouTube and Len will send out the link, right? If you don't, if you feel that you're sitting at a company and you don't have work, and if you feel that you're doing nothing, right? There is work, there is stuff to get learned. So now you have SQL developer, you know, you can, Invest your time in learning this product. Grow, learn the product, master it, and put it on your CV. You know, Oracle SQL developer. So there's be no excuse to say, I'm sitting at company ABC and no one's teaching me anything. You can teach yourself. Right? And to, 